So the larynx is made up of three cartilages. You've got cartilago thyroidea, cartilago cricoidea, cartilago erythronoidea, and the epiglottis. Uh, the epiglottis is elastic cartilage, whilst the other three are hyaline cartilage. So the cartilago thyroidea has two lamina, lamina sinista and dexta, which are fused at crista mediana. In ruminants, old pigs, and in dogs, you have prominesia laryngea, and then oh, I just totted. on either side you have uh, linear oblique, which is a site for muscle attachment. Uh, rostrally, you have conue rostralis cartilago thyroidea, and caudally you have conue caudalis cartilago thyroidea. Uh, the rostral is where it articulates with the hyoid bone and caudally is where it articulates with cartilago cricoidea. You then have intervira thyroidea rostralis and caudalis. In pigs, the rostral conue is absent, so the hyoid bone articulates with the lamina instead. Um, next, you've got the cartilago cricoidea. Uh, dorsally, you have lamina cartilaginous cricoidea. Then both sides you have arcus cartilaginous cricoidea with crista mediana in the middle. Um, you then have facies articularis thyroidea here and internally somewhere facies articularis aranthoidea. Um, we pause? Uh, next you have cartilago aphindoidea. Uh, so you've got processus corniculatus, then you've got processus vocalis, and processus muscularis. In carnivores, you also have processus culiformis. Uh, the cartilage also has a basis and an apex. Next, you've got the epiglottis. The epiglottis has uh, facies laryngea. Facies lingualis, margolateralis, uh, basis epiglottis with pertilus epiglottis and apex epiglottis. So, first of all, you've got vestibulum laryngus with ventriculus laryngus in horses, uh, pigs and carnivores and recessus laryngus medius in horses and pigs. Then you've got rima glottidis with plica vestibularis which is, consists of musculus ventricularis and ligamentum vestibularis and plica vocalis which consists of musculus vocalis and ligamentum Vocalis. Uh, the area where you have the two plecas is called pars intermembranacea. Uh, when you close up the larynx, uh, where you have the cartilage on the dorsal surface, you have pars intercartilagina. Finally, more, most cordially, you have cavum infraglotticum.